So let's look at the general reaction um, where oxygen, uh, sorry, alcohols are oxidized. Um, and it depends on the structure of the alcohol. So it depends on whether the alcohol is primary, secondary, or tertiary. So if the alcohol is a primary alcohol, let's take propanol as an example. There we go. Uh, oxidation turns it into an aldehyde, like this. Um, I'm going to put an O in brackets here. That indicates that there's some kind of oxidizing agent present, but we're not specifying what it is. So this is the first step. A primary alcohol is oxidized to an aldehyde. But this reaction can continue. If there is enough oxidizing agent, then the aldehyde gets further oxidized and becomes a carboxylic acid. If, on the other hand, the alcohol is a secondary alcohol, so let's take a similar alcohol, but we'll put uh, an extra carbon on there, like this. If the alcohol is a secondary alcohol, then the OH group lies on a middle carbon. If you perform oxidation on this, obviously an aldehyde can't form because it's not on an end carbon, so what you do get is a ketone. Notice that in all of these steps, either an oxygen is being gained or hydrogens are being lost. So in the first step, the primary alcohol to the aldehyde, we have lost some hydrogens. We haven't actually changed the number of oxygens because the alcohol had one oxygen and the aldehyde also has one oxygen, but we have removed some hydrogens. So that's an oxidation. In the next step, aldehyde to carboxylic acid, we've gained an extra oxygen. So those two steps are examples of the two ways that oxidations can occur. Um, for the secondary alcohol, turning to the ketone, you can see, again, we haven't increased the number of oxygens, but we have reduced the number of hyd uh, hydrogens. We've lost hydrogen. Okay, so primary alcohols form aldehydes and then carboxylic acids. Secondary alcohols, because the OH group is on a middle carbon, form ketones. What about tertiary alcohols? Tertiary alcohols cannot be oxidized because to form a double bond with the oxygen, it would have to break one of the carbon-carbon bonds. So, for instance, we have this molecule. In order to follow the same pattern as the primary and the secondary alcohols, you would have to do something like this. But that would require five bonds on the carbon, and that can't happen. So for tertiary alcohols, they do not undergo oxidation. Uh, so you can expose them to an oxidizing agent as much as you like, but nothing will actually happen.